Okay, so I figured a few people might be interested in this, uh, especially or in particular those who are thinking of doing the M57 N engine conversion into a Range Rover P38. So this is a kit that was built and developed by uh, Tamsin Rose. Um, basically what this is, don't ask me for the technicalities of what it is. But what this kit does for my P38 with the M57 N engine conversion in is it gives me back a lot of features that I might have lost. Um, one of them and the most annoying for me is the RPM gauge. If I get into this vehicle and if I turn the key, I'm going to demonstrate it for you in a second. If I turn the key first time after the glow plugs go out, straight turn, my RPM gauge won't work. Yet if I turn it off straight away and turn it on a second time, it works the second time. So for whatever reason, it's not getting the pulse. It's not receiving the correct pulse on the first turn, but it will on the second turn. I'm just going to show you. Uh, okay. So she's in neutral. So we'll wait till the glow plug light goes out. Turn. So no RPM gauge. Now if I turn it off again, I turn it on straight away. So there's my RPM gauge has come to life. So that that's, sounds like a kind of a trivial enough thing, but every time I start this vehicle, I actually have got into the habit of, I give it a, a quick kick with the key first and then I'll start it um, so that I have the RPM gauge working. But that is one of the things that this device solves. Um, this is all Tams and Rose's work. Um, she figured out all this stuff. But the nice thing about this is it solves actually a lot of a lot of different things that I've lost. We'll say average MPG. Um, what else does it do? It does cruise control, although she hasn't that set up just yet. But when she has her software update available she will update this and I'll have my cruise control and stuff back. So there's a bunch of little features that are nice in the P38 that came with the P38 originally. And uh, this, we're gonna call it Tamsin's Magic Box. Uh, this solves or, or brings a lot of them back, which is brilliant. So um, I'm gonna actually contact Tamsin now and I'm gonna start with trying to integrate what I have here into where my BCM lives inside the engine bay or sorry not bcm uh, my ecu my bmw ecu um so we're gonna go from there okay so that's that previous device installed inside here with the um bmw ecu so it's integrated into the ecu itself inside um there's a 15 pin connector on we'll say on Tamsin's device and you just basically wire that in just Tamsin has very good instructions she emailed them to me and uh, she was also texting me back and forth the only extra thing that you need if you're going to integrate this or if you're going to do this conversion yourself and you want this device is you need a 12 volt supply that gives 12 volts when the ignition is switched to position one so I didn't have that inside in this engine bay. There's nothing inside here that when the ignition is switched to uh, position one, that gave me 12 volts. So the only thing that we could think of actually was the supply inside for the head unit for the radio. Um, the radio comes on at position one. So I ran 12 volts from that uh, supply out through the firewall. And you're actually using it for two items here um, on Tam's inside. One is for the DC-DC inverter. And the other, I believe it's pin 15 out of the 15 pins on her connector. But that's the only extra cable that you need uh, to integrate her device to the ECU. So we're going to start there now for the first time. And we're going to see if we have uh, RPM or rev counter gauge. So I'm going to wait for the glow plug. And instead of bumping it, I'm just going to start it. Boom. Takes a fraction of a second, but I have a working RPM gauge. Try it again. Mm. 
Yeah, perfect. So that's um, that's great for me. It means I don't have to bump start this thing every time. Especially when you go on a long journey, you want to have your RPM gauge. I do anyway. Um, so that just saves me having to do any of that. Yeah. Yeah. 